All right, we have a situation. A sports car with 18-inch diameter wheels is traveling at 60 miles per hour. How many RPMs do the wheels make? Now, in doing these problems in trigonometry, it's nice to know what it is we're given and what it is we have. Now, if I'm talking about miles per hour versus RPM, that's linear velocity versus angular velocity. And um, the relationships that we have there are based on this. Linear velocity, I'm just going to call LV, is equal to angular velocity times the radius of the wheel that's being that's turning. So that's the big formula that we have. Now we know, given in the problem, that our linear velocity is 60 miles per hour. And we know that our radius from here is 9 inches. So based on this, we can probably find omega. And if we find omega, then we can find RPMs. RPM is just revolutions per minute. And one revolution around a circle is two pi units. So if we have omega, we can convert to RPMs. So our goal is to find omega in terms of radian per minute. And once we got that, then we can get our RPMs. So let's see. I know my radius is in terms of inches. And my linear velocity is in terms of miles per hour. So we got miles and inches here that don't compare. So we have to convert one to inches or one to miles, whichever one we work. So I've decided, since I like working with big numbers, I'm actually going to convert my linear velocity from 60 miles per hour to inches per minute. Why inches per minute? Well, inches because of this and minute because of this. So that's my thought process. So I'm doing some conversion. So let's start with my linear velocity is 60 miles per hour. Let's convert um, two miles to, from miles to inches first. So I know that there's 5,280 feet per mile. So that's just a unit of one right there. Because they're 5,280 feet and one mile, same length. Times, and again, I'm not at inches yet, but I do know that in one foot there are 12 inches. Again, that's another factor of one. So not changing the initial value based on multiplying by these numbers. So what I'm getting here is 60 times 5,280 times 12 inches per hour. Because my miles cancel, my feet cancel, and I'm left with inches per hour. So let's see what that number is. Take out my trusty calculator. And I do 60 times 5280 times 12. So I'm getting 3801600 inches per hour. Now to continue, I have it in inches per hour, but I want it in inches per minute. So my linear velocity is 3801600 inches per hour, and I want it in terms of minutes. So I know in one hour, there is 60 minutes. So that's going to be 3801600 divided by 60 inches per minute. Exactly what I want to work with. It's going to help me get through my problem a lot easier. So if I divide my number by 60, 63360. So my linear velocity is now is 63360 inches per minute. Okay. Now, after all that work, I can just use this formula. So my linear velocity and my omega and my radius are all in the same unit of measure. So I know that my current linear velocity is going to equal omega times my radius, which is 9 inches. So my current linear velocity is equal to my unknown, which is my angular velocity, 
times my radius. So my angular velocity becomes 63360 divided by 9. So 63360 divided by 9. 7040. So omega is 7040. So then one last bit, I have to convert revol uh, my omega into revolutions. So I know that the unit of measure on my omega is radian per minute. But I want revolutions, my RPMs. That's going to equal 7040 radians per minute times a revolution around a circle is going to be 2 pi radians. So my radians go away. I'm left with revolutions per minute. So 7040 divided by 2 pi, well, let me move this up, gives me my revolutions per minute, which is my goal. You can leave it like that, but it's kind of ugly. So I'm just going to do an approximation, which all students love to do. Two, and make sure you put your two and your pi both in parentheses or it won't work right. So 1120, sorry, I hit the enter button twice, but this is the number we want. 1120.4508. 1120.4508. That's my RPMs. Did I read that number right? So let's answer the question. How many RPMs do the wheels make? So I would say, write it in complete sentence, the wheels make 1,120.4508 revolutions per minute.